Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the P51H. Yes, finally we have it in game, the long awaited super prop for the Americans. Many people have long looked forward to this plane and so have I and we can finally touch it. <laughs> Fantastic. A plane that sits at 6.7 battle rating and let's go into the performance of this plane because there is a lot to say about this plane and we'll come back to that battle rating later fantastic climb rate on the plane with web um, the climb rate is a little bit more normal without web but the web on this plane is magnificent it is really I, I'd say the best web in the game very powerful and as far as I know it still lasts seven minutes with its full power and that is absolutely fantastic I haven't seen anything that has suggested that that web now lasts longer or shorter anyway the climb rate with that web is fantastic and you can definitely get the altitude now the plane has a great performance on that altitude once you get there I have tested the acceleration a little bit and on 4500 meters it easily accelerates towards 5 550 kilometers an hour and at 6500 meter the plane still easily accelerates towards 540 ish kilometers an hour that is very very nice speed and the performance there is very nice as well fantastic plane on altitude but it's very fast on all altitudes and it performs very well on the mid to low altitudes as well the plane has good agility roll rate on the higher speeds 400 kilometers plus is where its uh, excellence lies but on 300 to 400 kilometers an hour it's already getting good if you get below 300 kilometers an hour the agility and the roll rate start to lessen and starts to become quite sluggish at a certain point the turn time is also good when it's fast and it also lessens as the slower you go you do have a set of flaps though that can help you in that department and those flaps are absolutely crazy I've been testing them a little bit and you can just deploy them up until 520, 530 without a problem that's as far as I've tested them you will have to test it if you can get it up to uh, 600, 700 or 800 kilometers an hour and still use those flaps I have seen, I mean the highest speed I saw while testing it was 630, they didn't rip off with full elevator turns and rudder maneuvers didn't happen, not anything. So the flaps can definitely help you and they increase the turn time significantly, very nice. The plane has great acceleration like I said, on the higher altitudes it's fantastic, on the lower altitudes as well, in a dive it has fantastic performance. It does suffer a little bit from control stiffening above 700 kilometers an hour but that's only very late in the dive and it's not really an, a problem for this plane so uh, yeah the energy retention once you get out of that dive is also very very good so in that sense the plane has a fantastic flight model the top speed in the dive lies around 840 when it redlines. It doesn't immediately rip after that either, but that's good. Uh, but the redline speed lies a little bit lower than on the D30, which was at 880 kilometers an hour. It is an it has an absolute magnificent web, like I said, and uh, it also has a surprisingly good stall speed, which lies at around 140 in this plane, which is actually quite low and actually quite good yeah so i was surprised by that the flaps are fantastic like i said and um, the firepower is all right the 650 cals do their job if you get a good shot on target the ammo load is decent as well it, it has of course 650 cals with 880 rounds total four of those 50 cals have 270 rounds per gun and two of them have four hundred rounds per gun which is quite nice now the plane does have some cones it doesn't take damage very well it gets a little bit sluggish sub uh, 300 kilometers an hour although the flaps can work on that although you go even slower with using the flaps so be careful of that 
Uh, it also has a big fuel load just like the D30 and that might impede the climb rate a little bit although the web is so powerful on this one that it really is not a major problem. Now all in all I would say this plane is the ideal boom and zoomer slash energy fighter. A fantastic flight model on the thing and it would if you look at the other battle ratings it's definitely in its place at 6.7 battle rating you could say 6.3 would also be good for it but it has a problem it has a problem on this um, on this battle rating and you guys have probably also noticed it by now but uh, I maybe I've been a little bit unlucky I don't know I have also not calculated the percentages but I can tell you this from the 13 matches I've flown so far 11 have been jet matches, 2 have been prop matches and 10 of those 11 jet matches has, uh, have also been against Germans and Italians and in those matches I've faced 3 or more F-84Gs. Now I can suffer an up tier into jets but the F-84G presents a problem just like for the Mark 24 that which faces the same problem on a regular basis and I don't know if it's a thing right now that the uh, F-84 uh, G pilots are flying on it because they know half of the uh, Allied teams consist of uh, stock uh, P-51s and they want to have their field day but I have faced a frustrating amount of F-84 Gs to such an extent that at the moment I, I don't feel like flying the plane out anymore you know, uh, I've I've been in a surprising amount of matches with half or a third of my team uh, being comprised of um, P-51Hs and most of those people calling out first match, uh, I'm stuck, you know, and people getting killed all over the place very quickly and then, you're, then I'm left in my uh, P-51H on 6000 meters uh, with one or two jets uh, also uh, on higher uh, altitude or still alive somewhere and facing a team of uh, seven, eight, nine enemy jets that are still alive and it has been frustrating the hell out of me and it has actually really polluted my first experience with the P-51H I did have some nicer uh, jet matches without any uh, F-84Gs or only one which got killed or something and then you can make the plane perform you get two three kills and uh, you you have some you have some nice performances it can perform but yeah you get into the compression in tier 5 uh, the battle rating compression there and uh, you you have these problems with some planes and this plane has really been a plague for the P51H and it, it really has uh, made my first experience with the P-51H, a frustrating one to be honest because I can recognize the qualities this plane have, it's an absolutely magnificent prop that uh, is a joy to fly, it, it performs like an angel, it, it's really something you want to fly out every day but uh, you don't want to fly it out every day against a bunch of uh, F-84Gs that uh, are really just playing with you, you know you have zero chance against those fighters. Sometimes an idiot makes a mistake and, and passes you too slowly and uh, so, but th those those are the you know the pilot errors. This plane should not face the F-84G at all. It, it, is, it is not competitive against it and with 50 cals you only will get often you will only get hits in on, on the plane. So it, it's been frustrating for me and um, Thus the uh, 6.7 battle rating in the current setup is a frustration for me. Although it shouldn't be too much lower either. Maybe 6.3 could be something but that still would make it face uh, the F-84G. So that wouldn't solve the problem. Gaijin really needs to look at the battle rating. I would say the, um, the F-84G should be, its battle rating should be raised to 7.7. .7 and then the mark... 24 and the uh, and this one should be reduced to 6.7 and that would remove most of the frustration that I have in this plane from the gameplay you know uh, you really this ugly beast <laughs> uh, I know I know it's a good plane and I love the 8 
the the F eighty four T as well. But uh, it, it's it's its performance uh, and its better rating give a little bit of a problem. And uh, Gaijin will have to look at that because the P fifty one H, magnificent as it is, uh, really faces some problems right now. Or maybe I've just been unlucky with uh, 10 matches facing those from 13. <laughs> that could also be the case. I don't know. But it's been frustrating the hell out of me. Let's see. We had Terror of the Sky. Bulletproof in that first match. 48,000 silver lines and 4,000 research points. I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys. So here we are after the match. Now absolutely fantastic flyer this thing. It looks great as well. It's a great plane, magnificent prop. It really belongs in the top performance of the super props. And it's a real joy to fly. For me, it has been polluted, this fantastic experience that it should have been, by the apparent F84G spam. <laughs> or maybe I was unlucky getting so many matches against the F84G. But it has been a huge frustration. My my performance in the plane, my kill death ratio is atrocious because of it. I barely exceed one uh, to one kill death ratio right now because of all the jet battles against the F84G. And it, that's really a shame because this plane is supposed to give a lot of joy. <laughs> I was hoping for that anyway. Uh, but uh, for me, the F84G, the current battle rating of that plane compared to the current battle rating of better rating of this plane is the problem and um, maybe a Gaijin is willing to reduce the battle rating of the Mark 24 and the P51H to 6.3 and raise the battle rating of the F84G to 7.7 .7 and then a problem is solved I mean I can deal with any of the more normal 7.0 7.3 jets but the F84G is just a total disaster for this plane Anyway guys, uh, it's a fantastic plane, it's a magnificent performer, you really want to get it, but be prepared for the chance to have a lot of matches against the F-84G. Like I said, I don't know if it's my bad luck to get so many matches against that damn plane, or if it's for everybody that uh, has been uh, flying this plane, but uh, I've been getting them, and it's been frustrating as hell. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.